So you might be an owner of one of Corsair's all-in-one elite um, coolers or like me you've maybe upgraded your Capellix cooler and now got the little LCD add-on screen and all of a sudden you start getting this red triangle of death. Um, not to worry, there's things that can be done about that and we'll explore that in the video if you want to stick around. So just to give you a, a bit of a background, um, I basically bought the Capellix cooler over a year ago now I think I got it and touch wood I've not had any issues with it but I've seen they brought this new range out with the little LCD screen and it's something I've always wanted in my case but um, then I noticed that actual Corsair themselves were doing this as a an upgrade kit so I think it was, a, it was over a month ago now anyway I got this little screen Installed it no problem, and it seemed to be running fine. But um, after, well, I'd say I'd say a few weeks ago, I started getting the occasional little red triangle popping up on the screen. Now this kind of coincided with me um, putting a new USB Type C cable into the top of my case, and I actually thought I'd disturb something, so I went through all the usual troubleshooting, removed the cable, still getting it. I was trying, it, making sure that the actual. Um, the little screen itself was seated on top of the pump correctly that was fine, checking the USB cables plugged into the motherboard, everything was fine checking all the connections on the commander core at the back of the PC and it just kept coming back and coming back and co you'll also notice as well when you go into the IQ software that the the LCD screen which was normally pops up um, is just totally gone uh, for me the only thing it's now shown is a commander core this still allows you to go in and mess about with the fan speeds and stuff like that, but you can't adjust the pump speed at all. It's, it's just not there at all. Um, so it's, it's something else to look out for uh, if you get this happening to yours. First thing I thought I would do is maybe just go on the phone and phone Corsair and cry my eyes out. <laughs> but I decided to do a, dig, a bit of digging about and uh, if you actually go into the the Corsairs forums himself, um, and, I, and I'll leave a description for this down down in the down below. Um, there's a few threads in it already, um, and one of the threads in particular, the Corsair have actually put a post on explaining about known issues that they're having with the this 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 little screen, and um, basically they're they're going to resolve this in a future firmware update. Um, that's good news. At the time of this recording, there is no update. Um, you'll see on the webpage uh, that I shared that I think there's expected dates when the the firmware was going to come out. But as as of as of today, um, the twenty first of April, there is nothing. Um, so further digging into the the forum, there's actually a, a resolution which works really really well. Um, and how you go about that is if you actually power down your PC altogether. Turn the power off the back or pull the cable off at the back. Press the button on the top of your PC to make sure you're discharging all power and leave it for about 30 seconds just to make sure that all the power is totally drained. Then what you can do is flick the switch in the back of the PSU, fire your PC back up again. And I think this uh, what this does is uh, it basically reactivates the firmware again, the, the old handshake, um, and it gets it going again. It's not ideal, it's a pain in the ass every time you've got to shut your PC down, especially after you fire your PC up, you let it boot up, and then it does the same thing again. You've got to shut your PC down, power it down, do all that again, and then it gets going again. It's not the best, but anyway, it's, it's a workaround just now until the, the, the firmware comes out. I thought I'd share this with you because there doesn't seem to be a, a great deal of information out there. Um, I, you can get it on the forums, but there's no videos or anything about it, so I thought I'd make a video, stick it on YouTube, and hopefully it stops some of you guys potentially returning the thing, and um, trying to RMA it, or, I don't know, just taking it away altogether and putting something back in. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully it saved you guys a bit of hassle. Um, fingers crossed, Corsair get a a firmware out for this as soon as because it's, it's doing my nothing um, and I, I really hope this video has been helpful to you guys um, and uh, if you did find it helpful please leave a like um, share the video as much as you can get it out there and leave a subscribe if you can as well I'm trying to build up my little channel as much as possible and I'd really appreciate that guys 
and uh, that's it for today and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Cheerio for now. <laughs>